Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So we have Firefox version 131 rolling out. And this latest release was made available a short while ago today on the 1st of October 2024. Now, as always, to double check that you have this version upgrade, we head to our main menu, click on Help, click on About Firefox. And after the update has been applied, the version and build is sitting on 131.0. Now, just focusing quickly on the security fixes that have rolled out, we get 13 security fixes in total. And out of those 13, there are um, seven high-impact vulnerabilities that have been fixed. Now, the good news is we don't get any critical flaws, but um, high-impact is your level ranked just below a critical, so nonetheless still an important security update in Firefox version 131. So 13 security fixes rolled out in total and as mentioned addressing seven high severity flaws. Now Firefox 131 compared to the previous version upgrade version 130 is a bit of a lighter release but there are some new features and improvements that have made their way um, into this latest version upgrade. And the first is uh, Firefox will now offer to temporarily Remember when users grant permissions to sites, so as an example, geolocation, and I'm just using an image provided from the change log just to cut to the chase, and temporary permissions will be removed either after one hour or when the tab is closed, according to Mozilla, and I think this is a nice privacy feature, which is a step in the right direction, in my personal opinion. Now, the next one has been a long time coming. And we now finally get tab preview hover cards. So if you head up to a tab, you can see that thumbnail preview. And a tab preview is now displayed, Mozilla says, when hovering the mouse over background tabs, making it easier to locate the tab without needing to switch tabs. Now, if you don't want to see these thumbnail previews, um, to turn the feature off, it's actually quite simple. We just head back to our settings. And on the general page, we head to tabs. And here you'll see show an image preview when you hover on a tab. We can just toggle that off and you can see now that that thumbnail preview has been removed. And if you want to re-enable, you just tick, click the checkbox and there we go. The tab hover preview cards are back. And I think that's been a long time coming and is definitely a step in the right direction. Now, Firefox translation, once again, is getting a bit of attention, like all version upgrades, um, because it's still in beta, in preview. And Mozilla says now when suggesting a default translation language, Firefox will now take into consideration languages you have previously used for translations. And just on a side note, they've also added support for Swedish uh, into the Firefox translation feature. So some improvements once again rolling out for the native translation built into the web browser. Now, I'm just going to mention the next. Um, Mozilla say they've reintroduced the ability to navigate to the search engine homepage when the search bar is empty by using shift, enter, and or shift and click. And then a small little change, which I have posted on previously. And that is the tab overview, the list all tabs menu has received a new refreshed icon. And previously, this used to be an upside down chevron. And now I don't know if you can see that clearly in the video, but that looks like a mini browser with a tab. And although the icon has changed, everything else is exactly the same. And I actually like the look and feel of that. It just brings a fresh new look into the browser. And that's it, guys. That's more or less um, what I thought you may be interested in. We get some developer um, and, web and web platform under the hood improvements. But... Um, those are the new improvements which I think your average home user will be interested in. And obviously we get those security fixes that have also rolled out in this latest release, Firefox version 131. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.